Oh, good day once more, good people. Let us continue from where we left, right? Now, I would like us to look at possibility three now. Now, we are going to look at what? Possibility, what we call like possibility three. So, you have seen here what happened. You have seen what happened with this possibility, with, with these two possibilities in terms of initiating your what? Your disconnection. In this case now, like here, this is what is going to happen, right? That is the third group now, which is the phenyl group. Then, what we form here, we generate our C here. This is O, this is H, 1, 2, 1, 2. Then this is CH2, CH3, this is ME. Now, this carbon atom here is going to be what in charge? Positive, right? Then plus what in that case? Plus phenyl. What not? Phenyl what? Carbonion in that case, right? So still the same chemistry here, right? As you have seen with the other possibilities, a charge, single bond, source of electrons. Then there's going to be movement of electrons here. And then, again here, what do we form here? C, double bond, O, right? One, two, one, two. This is methyl, in that case. This side is our ethyl group, right? And then I like oxygen, that has lost electrons, becomes what? Positive in charge. Where does that phenyl come from? Carbonyl? It must have been a what? We must have had a Grenard reagent. We must have had that in, that in this case. Again, the chemistry here is that oxygen is bearing what? A positive charge. And oxygen is more electronegative than what? Than hydrogen. Then it takes away this bond pair. Right? So, what is it that we must have for, I mean, we must have gotten here before we must have had C double bond O one two one two plus hydrogen falls off as H plus this becomes our Me this becomes our Et in that case where did this one come from obviously this must have been pH M G B R if I were to trace this back, this must have come from an Li halide, for example. So, these are my symptoms. So, these are my small molecular what? components that I must reassemble in a synthesis to give me what? My target molecule. Therefore, my synthesis, my synthesis in this case, would therefore be C double bond O right this is me this side this is et that side right together with what ph mgbr granat reagent in the presence of what acid i wash that thing off with acid to generate what c double o oh, sorry coh to generate my target what not c o h one two one two this is Me, this is pH, this is ET, and that gives me my target molecule. Do you want to see this in terms of the mechanism? Remember, mechanisms are very important in organic chemistry. Mechanisms are very important in organic chemistry. So, in terms of mechanism, in terms of the mechanism, mechanism, right? So what happens here is we have C double bond O one two one two this this bonded to M E here bonded to CH three CH two that side adding pH this minus M G B R that is positive this comes in here to attack the electrophilic carbon atom then this right then we generate our tetrahedral intermediate which is c o one two one two one two negative and then 
This is ME here. This is PH here. This is AT here. This is MG, BR, there. Then there I get my salt. Isn't it? And then what, what happens after? We wash this with, a, with acid. Then this comes in here to pick up this. And then what we get here in this case now? C bonded to OH bonded to ME bonded to phenyl bonded to CH2, CH3. Then there is my target molecule in that case. So I've got all my possibilities here. Possibility one, possibility two, possibility three. All right? So, in terms of this, uh, what call it, disconnection approach, the rule here, when you've got all these possibilities, you choose a possibility that's going to give you, right, a carbonion that is the most stable of all the carbonions. So, you have, you have seen here, I've got my pH carbonion. In possibility two, we had our methyl carbonion. In uh, possibility one, we had our ethyl carbonion, right? Right? So we choose the most, that is, we choose the, 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 what call it, the possibility that's going to give us the most stable carbonion. Of all those carbonions, of all those carbonions, this phenyl carbonion is the most stable. It is the most stable what? Carbonion. So we will choose possibility three, right? When we talk about the disconnection of this alcohol, right? So you are not going to show me the other alcohol like disconnections, right? You see, this is the one that you're going to give me in this case, right? Because your phenyl group, right, is the most stable what? Carbonion. It is the most stable carbonion. I would mean as compared to ethyl carbonion, as compared to methyl carbonion. Why? The reason why phenyl is the most stable carbonion, it's because the charge can be spread out to so many resonance structures, to so many other what call like uh, atoms, right? That is the reason why this becomes the most stable carbonion. So we will choose this one, right? Thank you very much. I will see you in the next class.